And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo's Fortune. It's going to be our first deck today. This is where we're combining Teemo in an, in an aggressive shell with Misfortune. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. We played it about two weeks ago and enjoyed it and we're going to be bringing it back. Um, yeah, like we get we get like some like we don't have like the the largest units, but we can do some good combat stuff because we have um, vulnerable in the deck with hired gun. We have challengers with jaw hunter, so we can kind of pick our our way to do combat. And of course, our combat triggers with misfortune, doing one to the battling enemies. Maybe we combine that with our make it rains, and make it really hard to block. Um, Teemo, of course, has elusive, and so that works out pretty well with misfortune. How you want to attack a bunch? Maybe they have like a a bunch of units that can block and so then it makes your attack bad well boom have an elusive it can uh, get through anyway uh, we also have a sumpworks map that can grant anything elusive to help us out maybe a scout unit with like island navigator got those because they work really well with misfortune and our top end of course we have riptide rex because of how good that card is and a couple of citrus couriers to help us attack even more for misfortune so yeah, we're just trying to get chip shot damage in, you know, like not not like huge chunks ever, but um, you know, just try to keep getting some chip shot damage in and it just adds up and then combine that with some burn spells, you know, like Mystic Shot, get excited, maybe, um, you know, make it rain too, maybe a little bit of elusive with Teemo and Sumpworks map, and then also the puff caps, you know, the Teemo gives them puff caps, Chumpwump gives them puff caps, combine those in there as well, and just have it all add up to a win. That's kind of what our deck's doing. All right, so let's let's play five games over in a ranked this fun one, and we will see how we do. What's up, Big Alfredo? Had to work today. That's a bummer on a Saturday, but um, hopefully you're having a good day there at work. Um, Loki Beast also in here. What's up? All right, looks like we got a brand new uh, Masters player there with the zero. LP. They got Heimer Lux. All right, definitely want the Teemo. I I'm not gonna keep both of these, especially how we have the attack token turn two, turn four. I think I'm going to. I'm either maybe I just mulligan them both. Actually, I guess I'll just do that. I'll mulligan them both. Let's see what else we get. All right, am I going higher gun pre-combat to attack? No. Well, that uh, hurts all of my plans. Dealing coins and carnage. Their guilt is evident. You point, I shoot. Good trade. You look guilty. I know, Timo. Whether to play hired gun or not. That is the question. It's easy to play the first one. So. Bloody, get paid. I just think it's pretty likely that they have remembrance, and so. It is me. Oh. Please calm yourselves. That was unexpected. There's plenty of killing left. That was unexpected. What kind of deck is that, Mortis? All 
All right, well, this went very poorly for me. I got ways to find me mushrooms. All right, Quillabot. Thanks to the donation deck there. Your own take on spicy Lux for mothers. Awesome, thank you. Who's on top of the bounty board today? This looks like a high redeemer Lux that's all about challengers. I don't know. The Chevalier, like that's like the best one to create though too, right? Like Swiftwing Lancer. The ocean charts our course. Time to make some coin. <sighs> well, what? <laughs> What what is the deck, Mortiz? That's that's what I'm asking. You just put a code in and said, "Look at this deck." I don't. What is it? Victory lies ahead. I'm I'm currently playing right now. Oh. I know. Man, that that one Laurent Chevalier has just taken up so many cards because it created the swift wing lancer that created that thing To got wrecked this game. I wanted to, to kill the other thing first to test for barrier on the other thing and then be able to kill Lux, but obviously, um, yeah, I wasn't thinking with their four mana that they would be able to level up Lux with four mana, but they were. Because uh, of Flash of Brilliance. Now my thermogenic beam doesn't even kill Lux. Hey, Emru. Into battle with hearts aglow. You've made your path. I am just so dead. I'm pretty sure we can just go to the next game. We have nothing in hand, and they have five guards. Going to the light. Okay. The thing about my Kingo's Fortune deck here is it doesn't really play from behind. We need to get ahead with our Teemo and Misfortune and stuff. We don't really, and Puff Caps and that kind of stuff. We don't, we don't really play from behind of having an empty hand and winning, especially against five, six cards on the other side and very powerful champions with Lux and Heimerdinger. We're just going to move on to the next game. That Thermogen, you know, them having Thermogenic Beam for my Teemo certainly hurt. Um, but yeah, Laurent Chevalier, is, that's that's maybe a card I need to play more. It has looked good whenever I have been playing it recently in a different decks. Probably a card I need to play more because it was amazing there. Creating Swiftwing Lancer, and Swiftwing Lancer is an all star. I'll keep the Navigator. It's a good, good card against a removal deck, getting two bodies, four health with the first one. I expect my opponent to have removal for this, for them doing the misfortune thing. There. Push on without me. 
I still, I still definitely play it, but um, expected Thank removal. Smells like opportunity. Unfortunately, all four of my first four draw steps were all removal spells, and this is not a matchup where removal spells matter. Let's do this first, so I can like I want to do this first, so I can attack immediately with the scouts, and then play the jump wump afterwards. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. I think it's better to block with that and use a Mystic Shot than discard any of these to get a credit. No way. Always forward. So one Ezreal is out of here. That's good news. So I have the other one that I can make mushroom clouds for to discard, you know, for cards to discard for get excited. I do like giving them puff caps as early as possible, so the more cards they draw, you know, it just gives, just increases the chances that they draw puff caps, the more, see, there we go. All those puff caps add up. The spirit gives to those who listen. They all add up. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop to die. I'm certainly considering just giving them these mushroom clouds. I really am. Um, I can discard other things like, you know, gotcha and stuff to, to these get excited. Because um, it's not like, like, I'm not going to die right away. They're going to be drawing a decent amount of cards before I die. And so just the more, the more puff caps they have, the better. I can do that before they draw the card here. Let's give them some more of those. Puff caps are underrated. Puff caps are underrated. Yeah, draw more cards. Go ahead. There we go. Um. What is gained when you return malevolence? Okay, so it's like a Hecarim control deck. Huh. Don't really have to do anything. Yeah, draw more cards. Let's go. Hmm. Three cards left. They basically have to have the one mana gain three life to stay alive if I go get excited, get excited. That would cost me the higher gun and the gotcha.
I'm gonna play it a little bit slower. I'm not gonna just go all in like that. So I'm gonna get rid of this thing that, that makes these life steals units. yet. So I'm going to attack with this 2-4 twice. They only have the 3 mana, so you know, like, it's not like they'd have like, their Regenic Beam. So basically that Mystic Shot, by killing that thing, that Mystic Shot's doing 4 damage to them. They're down to 2. Draw 2 Puff Caps. Draw 2 Puff Caps. There you go. Had those Get excited in the bag. They didn't even need to use them yet. Dude, Puff Caps? Underrated. Underrated. It's always very satisfying winning the games with Puff Caps. Chump Pump's a great card. Um, but yeah, we. I think a I think a lot of people would have played that differently than I did. I think a lot of people would have, you know, not played the the things to give them puff caps and just held on to those and try to use those to discard with get excited and honestly in a matchup like that where they're a slower deck i just want to give them all the puff caps and um then you know we'll discard other cards we'll discard hired gun or whatever uh, or get excited later if we need to but give them the most opportunity this i'm i'm mulliganing get excited i'm Mulligating a second hired gun. Do I, do I even want to start with Jagged Butcher higher gun? I guess. I guess. Okay, I like the pickpocket. I'm going risky. I'm hoping they don't have a two mana play. They just played a one one mana card and they burned another one mana card. I'm hoping they don't have a two mana play and this pickpocket gets to hit them. It was risky. That's for sure. Definitely risky. I got the kids. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Success gets you noticed around here. All right, hoping these pickpockets get to do some work. As far as I know, the card overlay is on. Can somebody in chat say something about that? I, as far as I know, the card overlay is on and working. I don't, I don't know. Okay. So maybe, so maybe you have to turn it on yourself. Maybe I think it, isn't there like a button on the right hand side? Can somebody help? Way of describe what to do about that the card overlay nothing that the stink 
drink of blood and sweat. Okay, there you go. F5 solved it. Cool. Set the hooks. Certainly, quite the poor start for us. These aisles will be cleansed. I'm going to be waiting on these mushroom clouds until they obliterate some more cards. Um. Riptide Rex with Sumpworks map could do some work. Every way potentially. I feel like the only way that I'm doing damage to them is if they draw a puff cap. The only way I'm turning on Blender for Thedrex. Our Jagged Butcher hired gun part of our deck hasn't looked so good. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know if the sump. Yeah, I could have sumpworks map the island navigator and then and then play Rex. I just don't know if that sumpworks map the island navigator. If that's really going to be doing enough damage. Yeah, your hand was awesome. Good job. Thing about deep, but it, you know, it's kind of how many, how many one, one and two mana cards do they have? They just had a ton of two mana cards that were great defense and GGs. Our best card in our deck is Misfortune. That's a card that we haven't drawn yet in any game, and that is our best card. 
that doesn't make things easier. I could have mulliganed more. I don't know. I did with, you know, I went with a really risky play of like the thermogenic beam on the one drop, hoping Kempunk pickpocket hit him because their deck has good spells. That was a risky play for sure, and it didn't didn't work out with them having the 1-4. Don't know. I don't know if any other line would have honestly worked out. Alright, so I want Mega Reigns in this matchup. We'll keep Misfortune. Okay. Gonna make it rain. Yay, Teemo. Well, this is our best hand so far. Doesn't mean that we're gonna necessarily win. You know, like, we don't know, but... This is my best hand so far. No one drop. So attack with pickpocket would trade with the 3-2. I kind of want to do that. No. No, I don't think I can. Alright, so we're probably playing double mega rain this turn. That's my guess. It is kind of awkward because we may we may just miss some things, but we're we're gonna be going double. Yeah, like we may we may target the same thing multiple times. It doesn't die. Never stop shooting. Did we kill this thing? Oh no, we didn't. I couldn't tell if we if we got lucky and hit that the thing that was challenging Timo twice. Hey Tumble Dog. Every wave is a path. Okay. The affectionate Poro. Rules are made to be broken. Like Bless is motion. That means they get to, they can just, you know, cast the spinning axe, burst speed, level up Jinx. So, like, my get excited is not going to be killing Jinx at all. I don't really know. 
I don't really know if we want to play Get Excited anyway. I don't know if... Is their last card vision? It was. Time for the money makers. Pretty great last card. Well, I can't kill Jinx. I mean, I mean, I, I'd have to spend three cards to kill Jinx. I'm not that interested in spending three cards to kill Jinx. Like, if I do that... I wish this was just... Like, if this was just... Like not the thing that you have to discard, you know, if it was the other one, gotcha. If this was gotcha, we would go Mystic Shot, gotcha, and kill Jinx. Um, if I don't do it, I take 10. Dark Courier. Manual. Welcome, welcome. What's the worst that could happen? No! Oh! Now that's a killer. Ouch. At least they discard that thing, don't they? Oh no, I guess not. Uh, oh, that killer. Because I was, I was going to be able to hit him with Teemo again, double their puff caps, then, you know, like, they're more than likely they draw a puff cap, I'd be able to courier again, hit him with Teemo again. We have run into some high rolling opponents, that's for sure. Draw a puff cap. I drew zero puff caps. It's not the entire day. Hopefully, it's not just an entire day of making the opponent's decks look really good. That's what it's been the so far. They just play that, discard their other card, and then Super Mega Death Rocket, and I die.
We had a good hand, too. We really did, but theirs was better. Um, both visions they had were awesome. Poor Teemo, that free 0-2 challenger turning into a 1-2, killing it. Poor Teemo. I'm keeping Mystic Shot, keeping Pickpocket. Um, I'll mulligan Chump Lump. I do like Chump Lump a lot, as you all know. Hello. I like the Draw Hunters. It's a cool card here. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. That kind of protects Kempunk Pickpocket, kind of. What do you recommend to beat most decks right now, like Ezreal or Draven decks? Stole the Russians, shackle the prisoners. Torn for new leadership. Petty Officer card's really good. Um, I mean, I, I probably the Frostbite Midrange, I guess. That'd be that'd be number one choice. Really, like I think that deck's great against Ezreal. The the thing that that deck can't can't struggle with are the decks that go underneath it. So I could see that deck struggling against the, the Draven deck. Maybe, but um, yeah, I, I still think that's the best deck to be playing. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. Does play around uh, Rangers Resolve if they were planning on a Rangers Resolve. Looks like single combat. That's alright. Single combat's a really good spell, so I just traded single combat for my my pickpocket. That's as good as I could hope for with that spell. Turn seven total mana if I don't play this. So we'll have get excited plus four more. Or or I could play one and have get excited plus three more. We'll not play it. Four more. We could go Mystic Shot in, pickpocket. We'll save the we'll save the mana. That hurts. Yeah, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. <laughs> we played the chump wall, but I thought everything's good, and then suddenly their last three mana was a, a second misfortune. And then Bannerman. Oh, 
to keep going. No, I'll be discarding the Mushroom Cloud. I, this is a good sea monster. I'm planning on playing that sea monster. Well, I'm glad I didn't play the Mystic Shot first. So I was planning on blocking here and then mystic shotting the misfortune. A morsel of That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. I think I saw her at the used ship one. emporium. Okay, let's see. I know I'm not really setting up Riptide Rex, but I'm doing, but I think that that's kind of necessary for the go straight to attacks, like with the double warships and stuff. It's kind of necessary clearing the, clearing the board a little bit. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Okay. We are kind of stabilizing. New recruit reporting yeah. In. We are stabilizing. Alright, draw a puff cap. Go ahead. One out of six chance. 16%. Oh, didn't hit it. Um, I do kind of like this hired gun. If I attack, though, there's a good chance they're not blocking the shipwreck order. They take seven and then do a Riptide Rex. Is that going to happen? Well, maybe not. Let's go with this. Last priority to me. What do they have over there? I'm gonna pass priority back. I think that they, because I don't really have anything to I'm add, and they've done a bad job of drawing Cythrias. Hey, Harvey, can you go outside, Harvey? All right, I'm gonna go let. Well, let's see, we're almost done with this game, and then that'll be the end of the video. Yeah. All right, just give me like five minutes, RB. Fortune favors. Yeah, that's what I thought they had. They wanted they wanted me to attack and stuff and play that close combat. Yes, RB. Just wait. That can't be a good attack. Okay, that's better. That's a better attack. No one goes hungry. Make it worth my while. Ooh, got some fighting yet.
I don't like drawing those pup caps. Okay. Quite Should win this one. Be two and three. Son of a this one they did. My opponent did a poor job of drawing in the late game. You know, three. You yeah, like after after we had started to stabilize, they had like three out of four draws for the one mana Cythria. Victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. Not what you want to be drawing. Like when they needed to push through a little bit more and a little bit more damage and that kind of stuff. So there we go. Teemo's Fortune, a fun deck to play. Uh, we did run into some pretty hot opponents there. Um, you know, like, yeah, we we really did. Like, three of our opponents had had some awesome hands um, with that discard aggro. The, the deep deck just had some really good stuff against us. We also didn't we didn't play Misfortune, like, on curve too much. And that's, that's something that uh, our deck looks a lot better whenever we do. Um, we did have it on curve against the discard aggro and still lost that one. Their hand was awesome. That was, was really impressive. Um, but yeah, this is just a fun deck to play. Another way to play Teemo for those of y'all that are fans of Teemo like me that look for more ways to, um, you know, play Teemo and everything. This is another one. And and I like Teemo with like the Citrus Couriers, right? Like that, that would have been really cool if my opponent didn't, that, you know, get that discard aggro opponent. We were actually looking good if they didn't top deck uh, that removal spell for Teemo with the with, with the um, the six mana deal three draw three that was a perfect top deck for them that, that really was the best possible top deck if they didn't draw that we were going to be able to hit them with a leveled up Teemo um, after rallying and uh, you know then and then yeah rally and give them a bunch of pup caps and we had both of our couriers rally again hit them with leveled up Teemo again. Um, it would have been, it would have been really nice, but didn't didn't get to do that because they killed the Teemo. Um, that's a pretty cool, uh, that's a pretty cool combo, and yeah, that's that's kind of what I got about the deck. The get excited's were were pretty awkward because I didn't really have I didn't really want to like discard cards too often. A lot of times they would have been better simply as gotchas, but sometimes the get excited's just finish out the game. Um, Jagged Butcher wasn't like really that great of a one drop. Um, I did think about, and I wonder, I wonder if with these, like, I wonder if the the new one drops would be better, right? Like playing Urchin. Um, I wonder if that's even better than Jagged Butcher. Pro maybe not. Um, but then also I would certainly consider playing the three mana four three, the Sump Dredger. The Jaw Hunters looks pretty decent though. I mean, I do like Jaw Hunters. Um, but maybe Jaw Hunter should be Petty Officer. Like maybe maybe we should just have Petty Officers in this deck. Petty Officer is a pretty great card every time I play against it. And it's probably a card that I need to be adding into more decks, especially a deck like this with Make It Rains with Misfortune Trigger. Um, you know, you do have more ways to use Powder Keg. All right, but anyway. That's it here for Timo's Fortune. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.